Five on the shot clock. Artest with the steal. Bryant throws it ahead. Ron Artest goes in. And just like that. George. Here we go. Step back three. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. He got it. You got to think Paul George has to get a touch at some point, and he does. The three ball quickly. Got it. Oh, and one. Wow. My George. Paul on the job. Paul George makes his move behind the back. Pulls up jumper. It's good. George. O'Neal goes down. George. Oh, he's not human. Paul George. What's up, YouTube? Back with another video. Today, I got some playing out online with the all-time Pacers. And I don't know if I'm just trash or the defense just isn't it. Because on offense, when you use a really good offensive player or like use an offensive superstar, like you feel it. Like you feel powerful. You feel like you can make every shot, you know, create the shots you need to create, get to any way you want to go and basically do whatever you want. And even when you use like players that are really good, but not superstar level, like you feel like, yeah, you can still score. But when you use that superstar, superstar you feel that next level of being unstoppable but on defense i don't feel that way i don't really notice the difference between an above average ish defender and an elite defender unless it's a center centers are different but perimeter players i like i don't really don't feel a difference so on the all-time pacers i made some changes to their starting lineup don boozy i started him at the one i put ron Artest in, and i had paul george at the three and those three have some of the best defensive stats of any trio that i've seen especially ron Artest. crazy high perimeter defense steel rating hall of fame clamps hall of fame glove hall of fame menace and a bunch of stuff but it's like i don't feel powerful on defense even when i use it you still barely get bumps you can't steal the ball unless you get in the lanes but you reach on somebody you either just go right through them you get a foul or you don't even get an animation and they just go right past you and so i thought it was gonna be really fun just hawking people with ron all tests but it was just like he just felt like another defender but at the same time i am going against jordan and Derrick Rose so they two of the best offensive players on the game so I don't know maybe I'm just trash but yeah as for my strategies in this game in these games I used the point freelance so I could get Paul George some open shots offensively this team is not that great yeah they got people that can make shots but they don't have like really like elite shot creators outside of Paul George and I also use the current Pacers playbook and we was able to get it done so as always I hope you enjoy thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content Sit inside. to Smiths. And Kawhi Leonard gets away. Thank you. That Hello? That's his first foul of the game. First now, if you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Smiths, good. Well, Paul knows the defense is locked in on him, so he takes advantage and finds the open man. Outside Paul. And he's going for the oop here. And the official is called goaltending. So they'll award the basket. I mean, he had the right idea, but his timing was just a little off, and it resulted in a goaltend. Here's Boosie. Pass to George. From three. Twenty-three seconds left. Hey, whose man is this? Here's Granger. Hits a three-pointer. Turnover battle here early on, and you see that reflected in the score. To the paint. Here's Granger. Stop reach for the inbound. And he throws it down with one hand. All he needed was a little separation. So effective. Boy, cleared the path, put him in position for a prime time dunk. That's a big time move and a big time finish. First Here's Griffin. Like bro. It's the Clippers. This is what you want out of your offense. A high percentage look for Blake Griffin. Here's Lewis. Pass to Granger. The three is up. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. And that's a defensive lapse. A shooter of his That's me. I shouldn't have reached. And slam dunk by Jordan. 
as a distributor, Paul is just a machine. He's constantly creating for his guys. That shot is good. To the middle. Here's Brand. Can't get it to drop. And Indiana will come the other way. Here's Granger. Oh my god, my son Danny's lighting it up off the bench. of DeAndre Jordan brushing off the defender. 4-3 and the three-pointer goes. <laughs> Defensively, you have to tighten up on him or suffer the consequences. Leonard outside. Puts the move on. Yeah, Ron. O'Neal pulls it in. Yeah, Ron. One right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. Here's George. Let's go, PG. Hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Oh, let's go. My son be in them lanes. Proving how dangerous he is. Give George these looks. We post up Rick right here. Pass to Smith. Baby fool. Baby fool. Baby fool. Indiana scoring again. A minute and a half left in the first half of basketball. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. When you're trying to cut into a lead, you can't afford that kind of mistake. You know what it is. A lack of concentration. That's a momentum killer. Here's Boosie. Six points for him. George for three. And again, it's the pace. You better wake up. Give me that. Rifles one, it's intercepted. Here's George. <laughs> no, I do. Insane move by Paul George, a high flyer who can create in midair. Chris Paul. That's tough. Was off from Paul. On defense, the Pacers. Leonard for three. They grab their own miss. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Get to the line. So it's the Pacers now. It's an 18 point lead. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. To the inside. He hangs. Is he out here? Yeah, GG's. Chicago on D. Going inside. The three, George. Oh, yeah. Sinks it from distance. Able to stretch the floor with his shooting, Paul George takes great pride in knocking down those triples. Here's Rose. Here's Noah. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Counted from distance. George has got six. Nice setup for one of the game's best shooters. Paul George cash money on the catch and shoot. No. Here's the three. And a basket by Pippen. <laughs> That's how you I turn my help defense all the way off, so I got this is nothing I can do about that. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Oh. Eddie, thanks in the layup. And facilitate accordingly. Rose makes those around him better. Here's Boosie. George for three. Trailing here. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. <laughs> and that one is hammered home. Smith. <laughs> Throws it down emphatically. I'm making it real tough for you. I ain't gonna let you get comfortable. I ain't gonna let you get comfortable. Yeah. Give me that. I'm not about to dribble in front of Ron like that. A lot of 
responsibility there, guys. I mean, well above the rim. That's what makes not about to dribble in front of Ron like that. Let's go. Let me get in these. Hold on. Let me get in these pockets. First team all defense. First team all defense. Oh, he's trying to get you back. The board. First team all defense. George outside. That's a great steal. And here's the fast break. The shot off that time. And Indiana will come the other way. He takes it in. Hey! So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Screen by O'Neal. Huh. And the jam by George. I actually smoked that midi. I was supposed to green that. Paul George in these pick and roll sets. Because of his speed, I mean, that's one element that gives him a great advantage. He's really good at making decisions in tight spaces and in these pick and roll situations. No. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim. That's exactly the kind of defensive effort. The lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. Lewis can't get it to go. And credit the defense. Excellent contest. Made that a tough shot. Lewis with the rebound. Oh, and a fast break for the Pacers. Shots good by Granger. <laughs> Woo! His energy is unmatched. And, you know, you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. Here's Lewis. Pass to Daniels. Takes one from 10 feet. And he makes it. Third quarter action, and just under three and a half minutes have passed. From deep, Jordan. That shot is off. Eight for 13 so far. Indiana on offense. They trail by Ooh. And all the rhetoric and the conversation and the slights of Paul George because of last year, this guy has stepped up and stepped up in a big way. Time at all to get that one. George has got nine points here in the second half. There's not much a defender can do when George decides to go up with the pull-up. I mean, you've got to respect both his shooting and his driving ability because of his speed on the dribble. Time called. There's a minute 12 left in the third. And it's good for two. And Chicago leads by five. Levine is 6'5", but he plays much bigger than that with that outstanding, unreal leaping ability. Pass to McGinnis. Yeah. Here's Lewis. He's covered by Levine. Oladipo with the ball. Six to shoot. Spins. And it's Oladipo! Outside Levine. The shot misses. So Indiana will take it the other way. Down low. Here's Daniels. And there's the slam. Dunk to finish it off. I just love the aggressive finish. Now I'm thinking he's sending a strong message to that jam. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. Any lull in the action so far has been short-lived because there have been nothing but the the green line. Shots good by Granger. And defensively, how do you leave them that open in crunch time? Levine way outside. There's a screen by Love. Levine. Shit out here, nigga. Oh, the block. Need to get off a shot. Here's Kukoc. Ooh, that misses badly. Air ball. Oladipo, right side. Pass to Daniels. Here's McGinnis. 
Here's Granger to the paint. Boom! He jams it straight down. Oh, man. He got fancy with that finish. <laughs> he may be trying to provide the spark they need to break this one open. And I like it. I mean, some coaches might want to see just a sure Stupid. Hand. I'm not going to let you get the chance. For me, the offensive me. rebounds is killing me. There's a screen. Some changes for Chicago. Okay. 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 He loves what he's seeing from their perimeter offense. He told the team, quote, keep shooting. It's working for us. Let's oh. Yo, they're not giving me steel animations, bro. I'm waiting for that cross. I, I, I was waiting for it. He wants the ball and the shot. Pass to George. To the wing on the left. Rick Smith got the midi. Better chill. It's good. Here's Jordan. Into the lane. And the layup is good off the glass. Jordan's got 27 points. You know, because Jordan is so spectacular sometimes his strong fundamentals are overlooked ain't nothing over there and he keeps it simple why get fancy with the pick and roll looks like that a minute nine left to the fourth to the right side rose outside to take the lead why didn't he like, why did he do that? George outside. Pass to O'Neal. Here's Boosie. And here's George. From deep. Let's go, Paul George. Down the three. Now, let me tell you. What, what, what a game he has played here in the second half. Now, watch him come off that screen. There he comes off the screen. And then he goes up right away. You say, well, what happened? Butler was a half a step back. Why? Because the screen is a big screen by Adams. Now you still have to make the shot. That was an incredibly great shot. Clutch. Paul George now with 30 points. He's an exceptional he smoked it. In these situations, which makes it even more obvious. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Boosie. Dang. Pass to Smith. The jump hook. And it's Chicago with the board. <laughs> Jordan up top. Ah, let's go. Who come out on top here. GG's. I smoked that last possession. I should have gave the ball to Paul George and made a play with him. I ain't going to say the names because I'm going to keep their business private. I'm going to just say it like this. I had, at the time, the best power forward saying he wanted to come to Indy and team up with me. They like, we don't, we a, we a mid-major. We're a small market. Like, we, we don't, we, we can't do it. We're a small market. We can't afford that. I'm like, the best power forward wants to come play here. Like, y'all can't make that work. They didn't want to do it. So I'm like, wow. now I'm pissed. Cause it's like, what, what am I doing here? You know what I mean? Like, they don't want to win. I got the best power forward that want to come play here. Like, not everybody choose Indy to come play at. This, this dude wanted to come play here. They didn't want to do it. So, they call me up. They like, hey, and again, I'm gonna leave the names out. But now this person that they talking about is maybe top 20 power forwards, top 25 power forwards. They put him up like, hey, do you, how do you feel about this person? And this, this other person that they was gonna sign in free agency was a dude coming off injury. So I didn't feel comfortable about that. 
after that phone call, I'm like, they don't get it. I call my agent like, man, get me up out of here. They don't want to win. So that's how everything kind of transpired to sum the whole thing up. That's that's basically how that whole thing went about. And I got up out of Indiana. We had a, a top three player in the league at this time, power forward, that, was, that I was trying to get to come to Indy. He wanted to come. I bring it to the front office. They ain't do, they deaded it. Did you ever say who that was? It was AD. Okay. AD, Ooh. me and AD talked. Um, yeah, AD wanted to come to Indy, close to Chicago. He was like, man, it's perfect. Yep. Y'all got something going over there. Mm -hmm. So imagine that. So, yeah. right. So I bring that to the front office. They deaded it. We can't do it. Small market, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, man, all right.